presents the $6 million teenage birthday party. You heard right, Maya Henry celebrated turning 15 with an extravagant bash. It all started with a party. We wanted to give our daughter Maya the keen set of her dreams. The party got bigger and bigger and even a little out of hand. From amazing decor to hundreds of guests to celebrity performers. Pitbull and Nick Jonas raked in the big bucks for an insane quinceanera. It was a crazy ride that ended in a night we'll never forget. Then the party went viral. The luckiest teenager in America. Do you want to be the girl who's the next party after hers? How much money did this thing cost? Seven million. That's a lot of enchilada! La fiesta de 15 más. Se sabe que cobró casi un millón de dólares. Things haven't slowed down since. After throwing Maya an extravagant six million dollar 15th birthday party, the criticism came pouring in on social media. From LA and New York to Europe, we've been invited to some of the most exclusive events in the world. And two years later, it's time to do it all again for my son Thomas's 18th birthday. But at the end of the day, we're just a Mexican-American family from Texas. to Hangin' with Los Henrys. Okay, look, Thomas's party's in a month. We don't have a location, we don't have anything. Well, like know. theme, like where are we gonna have it? You know your party's in a month. Okay. And we haven't done shit. You should be here helping us. What theme do you want? Pretty indecisive at this point, I don't really know. Like I was thinking Fire and Ice or Great Gatsby or we can do something like Maya had, like real classy. My party was definitely focused more towards family. I'm really not worried about my family, I'm more worried about the boys. All the flowers that were imported from Holland. I hate flowers. Then the butterflies hanging from the ceiling. I hate butterflies. The father-daughter dance was really special. I'm not gonna dance with my mom. Having Pitbull and Nick Jonas there was really fun. Nick Jonas, he's not gonna be anywhere near my party. Well, see, this is why I need your help, because otherwise I'm gonna plan it and you're not gonna like it. What about performers? You know, Maya had Nick Jonas, Pitbull. Do you want someone along yeah. that line? A little more Ratch. Ratch? Migos, that's what I've been saying. Mom, Grandma, <laughs> stop. Oh my God. I like Migos. It's 2017, Grandma. I do not like rap music. Well, so I'm gonna talk to your dad. He's stressed out right now with trial. Well, I'll talk to my friends at dinner about it then. Talk to them, let me know. I'm gonna need a guest list, okay? All right, later. Drive slow, be safe. Don't be on your phone. Shut up. Yeah, so what concepts are we gonna do for your party? We have to do it somewhere cool. I think your house would be dope. Since it's like isolated, no one's gonna hear it or anything. F house parties though, because they always get raided, bro. We want this to be like the best party ever. We should have like a DJ, a rapper. Amigos, bro. What about Diplo? Diplo. So like, what girls are we gonna invite? Could your dad hook us up with some models though? Dude, let's get the girls from Maxim. And they're gonna say you're too short, so don't worry. And they're going bald, so what's the issue? It's fine, bro, though. Just like at the weekend concert, 45 minutes in, Tom's gonna be throwing up. Yeah, he's gonna be in the bathroom. <laughs> if the night doesn't end like this, then it's a fail. Bro, you, I was sick that night. You can't remember. <laughs> okay, you said you were sick. Bro, I got food poisoning. <laughs> bro, that's why there's chunks of fajita on there, bro. Hey, the funniest part was that it landed on like the two girls in the back. Oh, one of them was your cousin. <laughs> and really hooked up with her. <laughs> That was not a, my best night, bro. If we want to plan a party, let's go to Mexico. That'd be pretty sweet. Ooh. That was bad. Hopefully, this will give us the inspiration we need to give the people the time of their lives. We just need to get the jet and everything set up, and then we'll be good to go. So 
So I was talking to the kids about Thomas's party, and Maya and I are getting started on it. And I know you're going to be busy with trial, but Thomas mentioned he wants to go to Mexico with his friends, relax, and get some ideas. Yeah, sure. I'm being asked questions about what should or shouldn't be done, and I'm in the middle of a trial. Can you get me a glass of water, please? Sure. Can I get you anything else? Nope, that's okay. it. Azteca is really carrying all the weight on doing this party, and I'm just bankrolling it. Little Thomas is saying the only way he's going to get ideas and inspiration is if he goes to Mexico. And I'm all for it. They want to go relax, go to museums, sleep in, soak in his Mexican culture. I'm all for that. A nice, easygoing trip. I love Mexican culture. Oh, sh f So the point of the whole Mexico trip was for Thomas to come back with a bunch of ideas, what he wants for his party, but all Thomas came back with was a hangover. Typical Thomas, and we have a few weeks to plan this party, so I guess I'm gonna be doing it by myself. Hey guys, Maya Henry here. I hope y'all enjoyed watching Hanging with Those Henrys and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if you want to watch more of our episodes, just stay tuned. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs>